Next story from KRIS in Corpus Christi, Texas, a deadly police standoff. It was happening over on Depot Street. It came to a deadly ending right around 7.30 tonight. It actually began around 2 o'clock this morning when a woman was reportedly taken hostage by her ex-boyfriend. That suspect was fatally shot this evening when law enforcement made entry into the home. The victim's sister tells us that the woman broke up with the suspect. Three weeks ago, he... Uh broke into my sister's house. They set a warrant for her because he wound up hitting her with the gun and she uh, pressed charges on him and he's supposed to stay away from her. And him putting out a gun on her, she pressed charges on him and he's supposed to stay away from her and he would not leave her alone. He kept on coming back and, you know, he asked her to drop everything and she wouldn't. The suspect has been identified as 45 year old Dwayne Curtis LaFond. Police say LaFord, I should say, broke into the victim's house on Depot Street around 2 30 yesterday morning. The woman was not hurt, but Ford was fatally shot when officers entered the home. The situation is now being investigated by the Texas Rangers. So here's a question, you know, officers are there at the scene. How do you decide when to enter the home in a hostage situation? Donald Schweitzer, how do you make that decision? Well, one decision that's easier than others, Vinny, is when there's a hostage. If there's a person that's locked up by him or herself, uh, the SWAT team is going to surround the perimeter and stay there days if they have to and give the negotiators plenty of time to get that person out peaceably. But when you got a hostage situation, and there's evidence that that person could get hurt, then the SWAT team's going to have to make the decision. And actually, it's the commander. It's not an easy decision, but the commander, based upon the real-time evidence, will make that decision. Let me say this, is that these officers will wait and wait. But when they go in, they didn't volunteer to become sacrificial lambs. They're going to go in there and do what they have to do to protect that person. And if the hostage taker is uh, imposing some type of a threat, chances are they're going to get hurt and probably killed under those circumstances. Ted Golden, Donald Schweitzer, always love having you two on the show. Thank you so much. Please stay safe, and we'll see you again. Thanks, Vinny. Okay.